everyone, I'm Dean Tapper. I'm with Waterbox Live and we're starting a new series today on how to maintain your water box. It's time now for our first water change on the Waterbox 20 Cube. Check it out. It's very important to do water changes at a bare minimum of once a month at 20% volume. The reason for this is the phosphate and nitrate levels continue to rise as you feed your tank and it's very important to continue to keep those levels low. Water changes are also important to replace vital elements in your reef aquarium, such as calcium, alkalinity, and magnesium, as well as other minor trace elements that corals need to grow. Some of the materials you're gonna to need to do your maintenance include a possible magnet scraper, a handheld scraper, and maybe an old toothbrush that you're not using anymore. When cleaning your water box glass, be careful not to get too close to the sand bed on the bottom because the sand will get caught inside the magnet and may scratch the glass. When it's time to scrape the algae close to the sand bed, use a scraper like this so that you get right down in there It's great to have an old toothbrush on hand so that you can get in there to that water box glass overflow grate and clean it real good and not have to worry. This power head looks a little dirty for my liking, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull this out and clean it real good so it's working at tip top shape. Now that we have scraped all the algae from the water box, it's now time to shut off the main pump and siphon out 20% of the water into a clean bucket. We're using a secondary pump to siphon water out of the main display. So now that we have siphoned out the five gallons of water from the water box, Take your pump and tubing and place it inside the bucket of clean salt water that was already prepared ahead of time. We'll turn this back on and pump it back into the tank. Now that we've completed our water change, it's now time to change out the Micron sock. Be sure to use a water box filter sock that are only available on the Cube Series. It's important to replace the filter socks in your water box regularly. The filter sock helps collect the particulates and organics that build up in the tank, also uneaten food. We wanna quickly remove them out every time you do a change. After you're done replacing the filter sock, go ahead and turn the pump back on and wipe the tank down. Now that you've wiped the tank down, the water may be a little cloudy. That's okay, it will clear up in just a few hours with that new filter sock. Remember, continue to do this maintenance every 30 days to maintain optimal conditions. 